Hello all you starfighters out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Starfield. Well, we're over here at Terra Brew, just getting ready to start out. Uh, one of the things you might notice though is uh, I've added a few mods, uh, but one of the things we're going to do is start with uh, our uh, UC mission. Mainly just so we can at least get to the uh, uh, simulator. And then what I ultimately want to do today is, is get the, back to the grind. That is the uh, Reunion Industries. So, uh, but right now this is what we're going to do. Uh, but, a couple of mods that I added. One is inventory. You'll notice that that's a lot different. And this is... Uh, uh, really makes a difference. I've been kind of uh, messing around, doing some exploration on Jameson. I've managed to build up my credits a little bit and uh, uh, have uh, been using the uh, uh, mod here. So if we go into, you see how much more condensed it is. It's just a much nicer looking layout. Oh, everything's laid out for you right here. You have the ability to sort and whatnot. So uh, I'm kind of excited about that. The other one is my health bar. Once we get into some battles and stuff, you'll see that it uh, is uh, changes color, which is kind of nice. Uh, I've also added a eye texture. So hopefully you'll notice that. And there was a couple of others. I I can't remember them right off the top of my head, but all of them are uh, quality of life type uh, uh, mods. Uh, nothing that will uh, actually benefit from the gameplay, at, at least at this point. Uh, we're going to the Mass District today. We're going to go ahead and get started on the UC mission. We're going to save our Constellation mission for a while yet. Uh, I would like to get through the, or at least get the UC mission started, and then uh, get through this uh, Regengen uh, storyline, and then take, then maybe get back to the Constellation mission at that point. All right, so we've got to go up to the Vanguard Orientation Hall, and we've got to, I think. Take, take a test. All right, let's see what this test is all about. Or our registration, anyway. All right. Uh, Kingfish, current bounty zero. To register examination, please elect enlistment agreement. Okay. Uh, any outstanding bounty must be paid before proceeding. Yeah, well, we don't have any of those. Uh... By joining the United Colonies Vanguard, you agree to perform necessary services for the United Colonies that could place you in serious danger resulting in harm to your craft or yourself. Yeah, I agree to that. Let's see something here. Uh, yes, I agree. All right. Uh... Applicant Kingfish, consent documented. You may proceed to the examination chamber through the orientation hall. All right, I guess that's it, main menu. Uh, proceed to the orientation hall to the examination chamber. All right, so let's go exempt. back. You may now proceed through the historical displays in the orientation hall or continue on to the examination. Okay, well, we're going to go through the orientation hall here. And I'm going to go through it. I'll kind of show you the first couple of ones here. And then uh, uh, I'll meet you uh, at the end of the orientation. So we've got... Uh, In 2150, humanity learned the Earth's magnetosphere would collapse sometime in the next half century, eliminating all life on the planet. Decisive action was required, but the secure transport of an entire civilization would demand a new kind of cooperation, a new kind of courage, and a new kind of union. Thus, in 2159,
the United Colonies were formed to make that journey yeah. possible. Nice. Just okay. one year later, the Galileo, the first of many colony ships, touched down here on Jemison, beginning a new era of human history. Oh, how the cool age is that? of the United Colonies. Okay, so that was the end of Earth, and that's how we got started up to there. Uh, so next is over here, new factions. And we press the button. From their foundation, the United Colonies strove to provide all their citizens with opportunity, security, and peace. But there were those among the UC that still wanted something more. Independence. Oh, of course. So in 2161, the UC issued the Centaurus Proclamation, granting UC citizens the right to settle distant worlds and form their own sovereign powers. It wasn't long before the first new faction, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2188, later followed by House Varun, revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. Okay, so that's the first couple of uh, orientations. Uh, I will uh, catch up with you at, at the end of this orientation, and then we'll start on our next crusade or, or our next step in this. Okay, I just finished the last orientation. Uh, I guess uh, display the United Colonies citizen as to what you can earn and becoming a pilot or becoming a captain part. So now we're off to the simulator. So let's see what uh, uh, let's see what it's all about. And it's up through here. Oh nice. Starships. Look at that. Nice. Okay. In in we go. Welcome. Applicant, to the piloting simulation chamber. Please enter the designated simulation pod to initiate your exam. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's head up here. The other nice thing about once you once you've gotten into the simulator, you can come back here as often as you want, and it's a nice way of uh, shall we say uh, getting uh, uh, the. Uh, Oh, what the hell? The, the things that we have to get done for our skill points. The challenges. All right, let's talk to the examiner. Ah, you must be our new applicant. I'm Proctor Samuelson. The simulator's already been prepped. You can head in whenever you're ready. Uh, what can you tell me about this exam? Of course. You'll be running through a high-realism combat flight simulation, engineered by members of the UC science staff right here in MAST. Your task is to defeat at least three tiers of simulated opponents. Accomplish that and you pass the exam and can then proceed on to your probationary mission. However, if you defeat more than three tiers of enemies, your required enlistment time for citizenship will be reduced and your enlistment bonus increased. But you're welcome to try as many times as you like before returning to Commander Tuwala to proceed on to the next step in your application process. We'll only keep the highest score you manage to achieve in there. All right, uh, how about uh, some advice? Well, I can't answer that question directly. I will say this. Due to the solitary nature of our work, resourcefulness is a critical tool in any Vanguard pilot's ah, repertoire. Okay. You're permitted, even encouraged, to use whatever tool you're able to find in there. Okay. Uh, nah, I think we're ready to go. Okay, let's go uh, do this. All right then. In we go. Okay, this so... This is the Mark 18 Flight Simulation Chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high-detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Okay, so let's see what happens here. He said something about, uh... Uh... Welcome, applicant. Please use the pilot seat to initiate the sequence. Oh, alright, so... All right, uh, let's do this. 
and we're going to initiate the your exam here. is simple defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled all right you must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam good hunting applicant all right let's do this I need to get everything let's put New that targets there. active okay where is he? All right, let's uh, see if we can lock onto it. Is it locked on? Okay. You must be able to do better than that. Target defeated. All right, that's one. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier one reached. Initiating tier two. Okay. All right, where are we at? It's actually a pretty easy simulation. Where is he? Oh, there's two of them here. Oh, we're locked onto this one down here. Let's get down here. Target defeated. All right, there's another one. We're automatically locked on. Swing around. Target defeated. Okay. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier right. two reached. Initiating tier three. Okay. Where are we at? New targets active. Defeated. All right, we've got another one here. Okay. Insufficient. Target defeated. All right. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier three reached. Congratulations, applicant. You've defeated sufficient opponents to pass the exam. You may now exit the simulator through the hatch to record your current score, or stay and try your hand at the remaining tiers. Okay, uh, let's uh, do this. We can hop out. And then I want to check something. I want to see. He said Resuming the examination. New targets active. Oh, hang on. I need to do something here. All right. Debug tools now online. Shield upgrade. This upgrade will last for one tier. Okay. Uh, generate ally. Uh, damage upgrade. And let's go generate. Okay. So we have. Shield upgrade active. Damage upgrade active. New okay. ally active. Okay. Where are we at here? Where's our ship? Okay. Ally eliminated. Okay. Offline, come on. All right, they're coming back on. Okay. All right. New targets active. Oh, where are we at here? I didn't. Oh crap! We got. Uh... Oh, where's the one?
one that it's targeted. Where are we at here? There we go. That's him over here. We're, we're in trouble here. Halting simulation. You have passed, applicant. You may proceed to the exit hatch to log your results, or restart the exam from the simulation's uh, control okay. terminal. Alright, well, that's good enough. You guys got to get an idea of uh, what we did. We've managed to get to tier 4, I think. Uh, and we have qualified, so let's, uh, enemy tiers defeated, four of six, do you wish to leave? Yeah, let's exit the simulator, we can always come back. Shut it down. Okay, now you could continue there and keep trying. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. All right. Or you're welcome to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try and earn a better score. We will do that. We'll only keep your best run. Okay, we'll do that. All right, so let's go see the commander. And then uh, then the other thing we wanted to do was get the Rijon started. So let's go up to the lobby. And then we can get our assignment and then put that one on hold. Okay, all right, where is he? He's right here. Hey, well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? Uh, no, I uh, wrapped up my piloting exam and they told me to come back here. Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Oh, sure, I'm ready. Hang on here. I'm ready. Then let's get to him. So, looking at the data, checked out a few of the murals. Good. A test of preparation and thoroughness. Two traits the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you found the debug system in the simulator. Nicely done. Curiosity and resourcefulness are skills our recruits need. Now, How'd you do against your foes? Tier 4. Not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the sim, too. I can tell you that way were some real artificial bastards. Yeah. Good job putting them away. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and factoring in that you managed to utilize all the tools at your disposal, once you've successfully completed your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... Ten years service. Nice. Pretty standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. Okay. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. Okay. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? Yes. Let's get this started. Fantastic. Then just follow me. Okay. Where are we going? Okay. I'm right behind you. Commander. Oh, we've got to go out Come here. On. Oh, down the steps. Wow. Okay. Okay, we're following. Where do I stand? Right here? Okay, speak to the commander. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the skies. Ah. Now, raise your right hand. All right, the model raised. of the vanguard is supra et ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities? and to uphold the values of the Vanguard. 
Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? I most certainly do. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plan on Tau Ceti 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come. So Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Ceti 2 count on you? Let's do this. That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Oh, thanks. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. Okay. Ooh, 5,000 plus a bonus of 1,000. Plus, we've got a skill point. Oh, nice. Okay. So, we're not uh, going to uh, do that just yet. Let's uh, actually, let's go ahead and utilize that skill point. I think where I need to put that, I want to put that into, ooh, I don't know if I want to put it into, persu I think I need to put it into persuasion. I want to put it into persuasion. Yep. And then uh, I think the next one I need to put into the theft just for the, the sneak ability. All right, so now let's put in our next mission. We're not going to do grunt work. We're going to go back to the grind. So we need to apply for a, a job at the Reunion Industries kiosk. And so let's go ahead and get that done. All right. Uh, which, where is that at? Uh, it's off and over there. So I think we can head out this way. And okay, where did it go? Oh, it's over there. Okay, this is their war memorial, and it's always an honor. Okay. Over into the commercial district, of course. That's where their kiosk is going to be. All right. Well, let's get this application out of the way. Want right. to challenge your instincts and hone those corporate skills? Ryujin is hiring the best and brightest of today for our future tomorrow. All right. Well, let's do this thing. Uh, I guess... Oh, let's see what, is, what they're about. Uh, deliver the best quality life-improving technology today before you need it tomorrow. Huh. Ryujin Industries has been a leader in technology since its creation. We strive towards advancement and believe there is always room for improvement. Fulfilling customer desire is our own goal. Okay. All right, so that's, uh, let's see. Oh, the, well, we're not going to read it all. I'll leave that for you guys. Let's go back. Uh, let's see what their subsidiaries are. Proud following companies. All right, yeah, I'm sure that they were added peacefully. Job application. All right, work experience. Uh... How many years of experience do you have working in a secretarial oh, or corporate environment? Well, I actually have 10 plus years. Uh, how familiar are you with Raijin Industries and its product lines? Ah, uh, a little. Uh, let's go medium on the computers. Uh, college. Do you have a history of criminal law? Of course not. Your application is now complete. Officially submit. Please select below. 
answers may no longer be changed after that. Fine. Okay. Travel to Neon. Ooh, okay. Thank you for submitting your application. Alright, so both of these require... Alright, so we need to go to Neon. Submit your application now at the nearest okay. kiosk. Alright, so... Well, I tell you what, I'll uh, see you over at the ship when I get over there. Okay, well, I lied. I'm actually here at uh, Neon. I said I was going to meet you back at the ship, but I figured, well, what the hell? Uh, we might as well just travel all the way to Neon. So, let's see what this is all about. Uh, this uh, is an interesting place. I think the history behind this is that this is built, that Neon is a totally ocean world, and that this is like a uh, spaceport built on top of the, uh, in, in, above the water. Don't move, Nesha! What the hell is this about? Cut the act. Snippers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right. Get up slowly and turn around. Try to run, and we open fire. Yeah. Well, mess around with the law. So, what was the plan, Nesha? Smuggle the Aurora into Aquila City or New Atlantis? No, no. I just forgot I was carrying it, is all. Honest mistake, right? Settle this right here. I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayo's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Oh, dude. Move it. Let's go. Oh, dude, you're in trouble, man. Well, eh, we got another side mission there. Let's let them get out of the way, and then we go to where we want to go. You guys going to disappear? Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's just kind of bizarre. But E activate upper level. Okay, here we are. Neon City. You gotta love this place, right? Uh, okay, where are we heading to? Rajon. Okay. Tevin Anastas has run into some trouble. Word to the wise. You don't want a piece of that. <laughs> Uh, no, okay. Ah, uh, boy. This is just an interesting place, I tell ya. Uh, here we go. Raijan. Where are we supposed to go? Over here? Up the elevator, I guess. Another elevator. Alright. Uh, choose the floor. Well, I guess operations is where I want to go. Okay, and who do I need to speak with? Welcome to Reugen Industries. Can I help you? Uh... Um... Uh, you cannot... No, I... I need to talk. You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Yes, I Her am. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Ah. Uh, I could find the office myself. Great. Well, good luck then. I'm sure I'll see you on your way out. I'm sure you will. All right. What was the optional? Attend your interview at Raijun. Let me see what that optional was. Uh, optional. Oh, check in? Okay. Alright, so we need to go this away. Right? I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Around the corner. Uh, oh, uh, 
of co oh, up the, maybe up the stairs here? Maybe this is the stairs she was talking about? And over here, around the corner. I hope you're more prepared than the last one. Oh, I'm always prepared there, darling. Don't tell me you're intimidated by a little office chair. Ah, no, not at all. All right, sit. Okay. All right. Just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart, Yuko, is indisposed at the moment, so... Here I am. Ah, tough luck. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Great. Apparently our algorithm felt you were a decent match. So, let's get this started. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? Oh. Uh... Well, why not? Ryujin is the best tech company in the settled systems, right? An excellent question, but enthusiasm can only take you so far. We don't operate on passion alone here. We look for skill. Which brings me to my next question. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? Ah. Uh, I know I can do this job. Ooh, I wonder. I can make, uh, I can make any deal happen. Ooh, just a second here. Oh, I can't get out. Dang it. I didn't know this was going to be a persuasion. Uh... Including this job? The art of the deal can go a long way here. If what you say is true, you'll have department heads fighting over you in no time. How motivated are you to succeed? Well, I'll go above and beyond to get the job done. All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally... My last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Ah. Uh, let's see. I doubt I'll make... I'll uh, prefer the complexities. Uh, research and development. I want to play a part in the future. Uh, hopefully I'll have a role in management here in five years. If you can make any deal happen... Management is just the tip of the iceberg. Nice, okay. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. Nice. On a probationary period? Of course. Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Oh, great. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. Oh, nice. Okay. Great. All right, where's Terra Brew at? I'd hate to be on Miss Salso's bad side. Yeah, well, I have a funny feeling that I could end up being a problem at some point down the road. Okay. All right. Choose a floor. Uh, the lobby. Okay. All right, Terra Brew. Down over here, good old Terra Brew. Curiosity, because everything you've heard is true. Ever run into spaces? All right. Disciples who tried to break into the store. Holy smokes, Terra Brew's a ways down here, isn't it? All right. Get close. Sophistication and space. Oh, I see it. I see it. Pick me up? Here we go. Terra Brew, we've got you covered. It's been a while Morning, since we had a chance to do it. All right. Hello. Hello. Hello and welcome to Terra Brew. How may I serve you? I'm here to pick up an order for Imogene Salso. Oh, the Ryujin order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that? I got fired. Is what happened. Tomo. And this. Is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. 
getting coffee, kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced wow. by this nobody? Como? It's Como, sorry. Sorry, settle down. Uh, I'm sorry you got fired. Yeah, I bet you are. No one's ever sorry in this business. Yeah, you're right. Now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Believe me, it's either you or me. Hold on, let's talk about this now. There's no reason to uh, uh, get carried away. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. All right. Uh, I can tell you really don't want to do this. No, no, I, I have to do this. You don't understand. All right, let's just talk this out before something happens that neither of us wants. I wish it didn't have to be this way, but look, at some point, Ularu really will send you after me. Just just promise me you'll remember this, that, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. Of course. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. I'll do my best, Tomo. All right. Pick up the coffee. Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me. Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Okay, I still need to pick up that order. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple-checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. Oh, boy. This, uh, this outfit, uh... They're, uh... I'm not sure how... If they're shady or not, it's the corporate world, right? We all been in the corporate world. At least some of us have. That's all I got to say. All right, back up to uh, Imogene, and let's see what we can do for Imogene. Here's the door over here. Somehow, I got a feeling this is uh, going to be interesting. Oh, here's some of their uh, Arborn. I remember that, and I think that one might have been one. Uh, subsidiaries that they've, I'm sure, peacefully brought into their organization. All right. All right, let's go see Imogene. And on the advice of the gal down there at... As you. All right, here we go. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Ah... Uh. I ran into an ex-employee of yours. Good answer. And the one I was hoping for, since we learned of the incident before your return. Nice, okay. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention. And we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. Oh. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. Okay. So, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? Uh, sure. That better mean getting a raise. Of course. We believe in risk versus reward here. I'm promoting you to junior operative. Oh. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Sure. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Uh, none. I'm good. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. 
The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Okay, uh, let's see. All right. I, uh, where are we going? Over here, conference room? Is this the conference room Don't in here? Don't cause any trouble. Uh, where the hell is this conference room at? Hang on. Oh, must be here. Hey! Hey, how y'all doing, man? Alright. Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. Ah. Uh, maybe uh, they should have acquired Terra Brew. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Nice. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. Nice. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. Uh... I hope, uh, let's see, I never screw up so you won't have anything to deduct. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This well. introduction was not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Okay. Well, what's this uh, chicky have to say? Come on, get over here where I can talk to you. Oh, there we go. You're Genevieve, okay. Uh, just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Oh, great. Ah, uh, so you're keeping Raijin in the public good graces. Uh, me and an entire department at my back. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? None. You don't have to worry about me at all. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> that's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. Fine. So, any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Sure. All right. Uh, let's see. Meet Alexis. All right, let's go over here and meet Alexis. We'll save Cho for last. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. Yeah, I'm just here for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm not just here for your viewing pleasure. If only pleasure was the word for it. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, oh, and great. I'll be direct. The lawyer. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Oh, okay. Not a problem. I will, uh... No promises. I do what's necessary. Oh, boy. All right. Let's hope your best is good enough. Sure. All right. Captain Cho. All right, let me get over here where I can see you. This way. Hey, buddy. Over here. So, fetching coffee one minute and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Uh, the Bruce said she triple-checked the grind herself. Ah, so she remembered. Not that I expect much out of Terra Brew Coffee, but hey, I suspected their grinder was on its last leg. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, People in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. All right. Somehow I... Uh, thanks. I'll keep that all in mind. Uh, good. My job description certainly sounded otherwise. Sometimes it takes, uh, drastic measures to ensure we can deliver the best products possible. Oh. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. All right. Just keep an open mind. 
Oh, and thanks for the coffee. Okay, talk to Imogene. All right, back to her. All right. Okay. Gala at the new Atlantis All right, Imogene, what's up? I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. Sure. I've been told how much... Let's see. I've been told how much work I could create for them if, if I'm not careful. Ah, the basic theme was don't get caught. That doesn't surprise me. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. Ah. Big mistake on their part. My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Uh, it's a bit true. God, consider it done. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. Ah, oh, great. Digipics added, unmarked data slate. Okay. Uh, one step ahead. Okay. Let's, uh, let's look at this. One step ahead. All right. So, uh, we got to upload the program at Celtcorp. And, which means I need to get into Celtcorp at Neon's Tower and upload the program on the slate that Imogene gave me. Ideally, I need to do this without getting caught. Okay, I need to check something out. They gave me this stuff. What is this stuff? Oh, a plus 20% persuasion chance. Nice, okay. Oh, I need to keep an eye out for that stuff. Uh, Yuko's coffee. Oh, okay. And an unmarked data slate. All right, so do we need... Cannot equip this item. Okay, I guess I can't read it or anything. All right, so basically, where am I heading to? Uh, out the door. All right, so this is where I need a sneak skill, I think, and I don't have that yet. I went with the persuasion the lobby. All right, so let me see something here. Uh, let's go B. How close am I to... Oh, I still got a ways to go. You know what? I, I need to get another level so I can get my sneak up. Because if we look at this... Uh... I think it's not a matter of being able to uh, pickpocket. Uh, what I need is the bar that tells me if I'm being detected or not. So all I want to do is just get one skill point in there, and that's what I need to do. So you know what I think we're going to do? So we're going to put this one on pause, and uh, we're going to go back to the uh, for the next episode we're going to go back to our UC uh, assignment we're going to go back to uh, oh that's not what I wanted I wanted to go into crap I want to go here uh, this ends the grunt work we want to go back to the grunt work. We want to go back to here. So I will uh, actually see you back at the Atlantis spaceport, and we're going to get this one started. And then we'll come back to that other one. That's a nice thing. You don't have to do these all at this at once. All right. So 
I will see you uh, uh, back at uh, New Atlantis. Okay, I'm here back at New Atlantis. So let's go over here and see the chief. Let's see what we can do here. Ah. Uh, I think chief is right over here, so. And. So let's see what he has to say. Really? I'm shocked she managed to limp back here at all. Pull it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Yes, sir. Nice, okay. Ah, you are new probationary then? Yep. Crew I... Chief Herat, pleasure to be working with you. Sure. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. Okay. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of Scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Okay, we can Any do that. Any questions before you head out? Uh, I think I'm all set. Well, what, yeah, is there anything you can tell me about Tau City? I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Report they gave us seemed clean, no known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. All right, I'm all set. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. Always, I always make you look good. All right, make contact with the settlers on Tal City. Where are we at here? Where's my ship? All right, I will uh, see you when I get to Tal City. Okay, we've just landed here at Tau City. Let's see what we got. Looks like an ominous place. Uh, we need to get off of here. Greetings, right. Captain. Hey, Vasco. You know what? Hey, Vasco, you want to follow me? Hi. Please disregard. I'd, I'd I like, attempted an informal greeting. I'd like but you to, I am dissatisfied okay. with the results. Fine. All right. I'd like you to follow me. I will accompany you as long as you require. Thanks, Vasco. All right. Perfect. Vasco's now following me. What do we got for weapons? Uh. Let's see something here. Uh, weapons, what did they give me? They gave me something, a small, oh, uh, I don't know. All right, so, oh, the lawgiver. We might, uh, that, uh, I need to favor that. All right, let's, uh, let's favor this. And we'll put that in five. So, the Eon is one. That side star is... Okay, let's go with that. Uh, we've got the solstice. I might pull up, end up pulling up that side star. All right. What do we got down here? Oh, my ship. Let's get down through here. That look good. Uh, let's grab the credits while we can. Uh, boy. All right. Uh, maybe up here. No, 
well, there's Tau. Okay, we want to get down to there. That, that looked good. Make contact with the settlers. Ooh, investigate the scream. Not that I heard it, but we are coming down through here. This does not look good. Either I got hit harder than I thought, or you've got some incredible timing. Regardless, I think it knows you're here. I'll unlock the door. Second floor, main building. But be quiet. Okay. Oh, well, can't go through there. You hear that, Vasco? Be quiet. All right, in through here. Okay, let's open the door. Adrian, you're not looking so good. So what do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? It'd make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Well, I, uh, I can't tell you that I'm a shock trooper, but actually the Vanguard sent me, though they failed to mention how bad things were. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. Okay. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. Oh. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly what? a worrying one. Sounds like you could use my help, then. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm gonna need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. <sighs> but there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. All right, let's get that security system back online. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. Oh, uh, sure. Make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. Well, I hope so. All right. Uh, let's do this. Let's do a quick save right here. All right, where do I gotta go? Is it out through? Look, uh, you know what? We're gonna take that mid pack. What's in here? No. All right. Uh. Yeah, we'll take those, though. Okay. Uh, out through here? I think so. Or maybe around through here, maybe. Okay, yep. Uh, I think it's in here. Come on in, Vasco. Come on. Come on, buddy. I want to close that door. All right. Okay, let's see what we need to do here. All right. Uh, it's received systems connection status. Reset security connection. Okay. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Oh, hello? I wish I'd found this earlier. You notice those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. 
not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. 183.5. Okay. Right here. Credits. All right. Uh, system status. Turn on tracking system. Frequency turning is required. All right. Uh, track frequency turner. Uh, one eight three point five. Okay. Trackers reading green, and what's that sound? The security lockdown is active. Shit! Stop! Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move. Okay. Fine. That's not the gun we want. Look, I wouldn't engage directly if you can avoid it. The kill lanes. They're set up but need power. There's breakers on each of the buildings you can throw to get them live. Once they're online, lead the Terramorph towards the lights and watch the fireworks. Okay. Give it hell, Vanguard. All right, so we've got one out over here. that breaker outside out here. System rearm fail. Additional power required. Okay. There's that one. Uh we got one. Oh, upstairs. Is it that easy? Can we get upstairs? Open the door. How in the hell do we get up there? Well, I don't have enough boost power. Sorry, Vasco. Is there another stairs up here? Is this a stairs? Uh, uh, it's probably a broken elevator. Ah, where? I suppose it's outside. Of course it would be outside. All right, so we got one over here. Inside, let's get this one on. In through here. Power level's insufficient. Proceed to next power breaker. Okay, the next power breaker is over here on 23. How many of these do we have to hit? Uh, one up here. Okay. All right. Local defense is restored. Okay. Uh... All right, we got one over there and one over there. Let's uh, distance the target. So we got to keep this in mind right here. Uh, okay, I see it up there. How do we get up to there? stairs in here. Uh, up, up, up. Come on. There's got to be a stair somewhere. Or an elevator?
Okay. Well, this is a little frustrating. Alright, there's two targets, and I gotta get upstairs, and I don't know where the upstairs is. This is where I came in. Okay. Well, let's do this. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, this way. Which way? Uh-oh. This way. Oh, there's the stairs, of course. But I can feel the Terramorph getting closer. There's the stairs. All right. All right, let's get this one. Okay, that one's already turned on. I guess, grunt work. How about this one over here? Where is it? Look out, Vasco. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think I've got them all turned on. All right, uh, let's hop down. I think I've got to get him to run down through here. Let's get these out of the way. All right, let's see if we can... Oh, he's dead. What the hell happened? Okay. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. All right, well, let's go back and see Hadrian. Fine. I'm going around getting everything turned on and Adrian. Trekker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> Essence above, you just flatlined a terramorph. I can't say uh, I uh, did anything other than turn switches on, but yep, all taken care of. <laughs> oh, yeah, taken care of. No big deal. You didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? Ah, uh, here you go. All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. All right. What do you say, Hadrian? I'll follow you. Oh, come on, Vasco. You're in the way. All right. Let Hadrian come on. I'm supposed to follow you, Hadrian. Let's get it going. I don't have all day here. I had to take a sip of coffee here. All right. Uh, uh, older model. All right, let's see what you can do. Running basic diagnostics? Nothing. Maybe a flag scan? No. Spectrograph. Damn. Okay. This equipment? It's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. This Terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. 
Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. But no one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Okay. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. I agree. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Ah, indeed. I'm sure there's... Sounds like, uh, that feels like a... Uh, I'm sure there's a rational explanation. Ah. You're right. We just need more information first. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed. Get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. Mm. They should recognize the name. Uh, don't worry. I'll make sure my commander agrees. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard, he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia, a bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here, it's not a lot, but you've definitely earned it. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. Okay. All right. Uh, term. Uh, credits, 1800. All right. Return to the commander. Well, you know what? I think this is a excellent spot to stop because I need to loot this place quite a bit. And you don't want to watch me wa doing that. And we've already been running quite a while. Uh, so, uh, we managed to get into the uh, UC Vanguard. Uh, we also started the Rajunjan uh, mission line, and uh, once we uh, kind of get leveled up a little bit more uh, with this exercise or with this mission, uh, then we can get back to Rajunjan. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to loot and gather up as much stuff as I can, and uh, we'll call it good. All right, all you starfighters out there. Uh, well, first off, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That really helps the channel. And ring that bell. It'll let you know when I upload new videos uh, onto the channel. All right, all you starfighters out there, uh, keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.